in this video i will talk about transformer utilization factor i will talk about the significance of transformer utilization factor after that i will show you how to calculate the transformer utilization factor for a half wave rectifier and a full wave bridge rectifier circuit you will find the application of rectifier circuit in the power supply circuit the application of rectifier circuit in a power supply circuit is to rectify or convert the alternating voltage into a DC voltage so that by using rectifier filter and voltage regulator circuit we can get a constant DC voltage like this and this constant DC voltage which is indicated by this green line will be applied in this load resistor of 10 kilo ohm such that we get the DC power absorbed by this load resistor of 10 kilo ohm see if i use the rectifier circuit capacitor filter and voltage regulator unit uh, see here i am applying a sinusoidal voltage i will get a pure dc voltage in the output see this is a pure dc voltage of 9.522 volt now this 9.522 volt will be applied across this 10 kilo ohm resistor when this 9.522 volt will be applied across this terminal and this terminal you will see this fixed dc voltage will result a fixed DC current flowing through this load resistor therefore if I denote that load current with I L and the value of load resistor is R L therefore you will see our load will absorb I L square R L amount of power as the power absorbed by the load is DC power so I will express it with I D C square R L so I can say that the load will draw a power from the main supply voltage and I will convert the main supply voltage to a fixed DC voltage by using rectifier filter and voltage regulator network now I will talk about transformer utilization factor while designing power supply circuit it is necessary to determine the rating of the transformer to select the rating of the transformer one must have the knowledge of the DC power to be delivered to the load the transformer utilization factor indicates how effectively the transformer capacity is used in delivering the DC power to the load for a given AC power that means transformer utilization factor will indicate a factor which will determine how much of the AC power is converted and delivered to the DC load therefore we will define transformer utilization factor DC power delivered to the load to AC power rating of the secondary winding of the transformer transformer utilization factor is the ratio of DC power delivered to the load to the AC power rating of the secondary winding of the transformer our DC power delivered to the load we will calculate the DC power using this formula I D C square R L which I have shown you using the power supply circuit I D C square into R L usually the power transformers are rated for AC power and AC power is often specified in terms of volt ampere V A thus the capacity of transformer is always specified in terms of RMS value of voltage and RMS value of current therefore the product of VRMS and IRMS is the VA rating of, of the secondary winding of the transformer so AC power rating of the secondary winding of the transformer will be the product of VRMS into IRMS this VRMS is the RMS value of the voltage at the secondary winding between the two terminals of the secondary winding and this IRMS is the RMS value of the current that is supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer and this VA will be equal to multiplication of RMS value of voltage and RMS value of current now I will show you how do we calculate the transformer utilization factor 
of a half-wave rectifier circuit. Transformer utilization factor TUF is the ratio of DC power delivered to the load IDC square into RL divided by the AC power supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer VRMS into IRMS. See this is the output or load current of the half-wave rectifier. This IDC is the DC component of this pulsating DC current. So here IDC will be equal to maximum value of the current I m divided by phi and this VRMS is the RMS value of the supplied voltage by the secondary winding of the transformer. See this is a half wave rectifier circuit here I have used a step down transformer. Look at the secondary waveform of the transformer here you will see it will be an alternating voltage and it is a pure sine wave with maximum value Vm minimum value minus Vm. So I can say that our transformer will supply a secondary voltage of pure sinusoidal waveform like this with maximum value Vm and the RMS value of this sinusoidal voltage is always VRM is equal to Vm divided by root 2 or 0.707 Vm. This IRMS is the RMS value of current supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer. Now look at the waveform of the current supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer. Here you will see during the positive half cycle this secondary winding will supply the half sinusoidal current and during negative half cycle it will not supply any current that means the current supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer is a half sinusoidal current and the RMS value of the half sinusoidal current will be I R M S and it will be equal to I M by 2 so I know the value of I D C IRMS and VRMS. Now let me put the value of the parameters. I m square divided by phi square into RL divided by Vm by root 2 into I m by 2. So from here I will get Two root two I M R L divided by phi square V M. In case of rectifier circuit, V M is the multiplication of maximum current into into load resistor. So I will get two root two into V M phi square into V M. So this Vm and this Vm will get cancelled. So I will get 2 root 2 divided by phi square which will be equal to 0 0.287. So our transformer utilization factor in case of half wave rectifier is equal to 0 0.287 and we calculate the transformer utilization factor of a rectifier circuit by this formula. power DC power delivered to the load divided by the AC power supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer this implies that the DC power PDC that is delivered to the load will be equal to 0.287 of the power supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer only 28.7 percent of the power that will be supplied by the secondary winding of the transformer will be supplied to the load resistor. Now I will show you how to calculate the transformer utilization factor of a full wave breeze rectifier circuit. Transformer utilization factor TUF is calculated by taking the ratio of DC power delivered to the load RDC square RL divided by AC power supplied by the secondary winding of the 
transformer vrms irms see this idc is the dc value of output current see this is the waveform of our load current in case of a full wave bridge rectifier idc is equal to 2 im divided by phi now vrms is the rms value of the secondary voltage see this is the secondary voltage of this circuit this is a pure sinusoidal waveform therefore the rms value of any sinusoidal quantity rms equal to vm divided by root 2 or 0 0.707 vm this irms is the rms value of ac current supplied by the secondary of the transformer the secondary of the transformer will supply an unidirectional current to the load resistor RL therefore our unidirectional current will be like this and the RMS value of this unidirectional current will be IRMS which will be equal to IM by root 2 now put the value of parameters here you will see 4 IM square by phi square into RL vm by root 2 into im by root 2 so here i will get 8 im square r l divided by phi square into im into v m from which i can write 8 pi square v m 8 im r l so this will be equal to 8 vm divided by phi square vm which will be equal to 0 0.812 see here our tran uh, transformer utilization factor will be equal to 0 0.812 and we calculate the transformer utilization factor by dc power supplied to the load divided by the secondary ac power supplied by the secondary here you will see p dc dc power delivered to the load will be equal to 0 0.812 into p s a c ac power supplied by the secondary that means maximum portion of the ac power supplied by the secondary will be delivered to the load as a dc power so full wave bridge rectifier is better than half wave rectifier circuit